Scott here, and welcome to the next episode of Complete Nintendo 64 Collection, where you all get to come along with me on my journey to collect the entire North American Nintendo 64 Collection with the box and the manual. That's 296 games, some of which are extremely difficult to get. Now, if you haven't seen this before, a couple ground rules that we have. Number one is that I'm trying to get every game with the box and manual for as cheap as possible, but also as mint condition everything as possible. Next rule is that um, with every game that I show, I will tell you my childhood memories of that game, as well as uh, details about that game, some of its history and what its gameplay is like. And then rule number three is that I obviously will accept any donations that you guys want to make, even if it's just a manual or it's just an N64 game or it's just a box, weird controller, anything. If you guys want to make any donations, I'll give you a shout out. Really appreciate that. Um, check out my previous videos for other shout outs that I've given. Um, but with that said, let's go ahead and open up the next round of N64 games and their boxes and manuals. Ooh! So we're gonna go ahead and open up here. So we're gonna go ahead and open up here a nice bundle that I got from someone um, on eBay. And as I've said before, bundle deals are really the way to go. You can save a ton of money if you're buying in bulk. So this person packaged them very safely, and here we have three games, which I will show you in one second. So. The deal with this person is they said, if you wanna buy all three of these games, then you have to buy all three of these games. I'm not gonna sell you just one, so they gave me a super deal for all three. So the first one we have here, classic Resident Evil 2. Now there's actually a pretty crazy story behind this, which I'll, which I'll tell you in one second, um, the story about the development of the game. So we can see here the condition of the box. It's a little rough, got some creasing on the front. Now this game's actually really difficult uh, to find for a good price, complete in box. Little creasing there along the side as well. And I'll show you the screenshots in the back. Now, this game was such a big deal for the Nintendo 64 because this is actually the largest Nintendo 64 game cartridge that was ever made for Nintendo 64. That means it could hold the most data. And the reason for that is because no one thought that Resident Evil 2 could be ported to the Nintendo 64. It had full motion video when it was on the PlayStation, huge file size, but Nintendo actually made a cartridge uh, that held so much memory that it was the only Nintendo 64 game cartridge that was made of that size. And they managed to fit the entire Resident Evil 2 game on a cartridge, really a groundbreaking thing. And uh, they actually worked with the Factor 5 company that made Star Wars Rogue Squadron because they had such good compression technology for their Star Wars game to get uh, vocal audio, spoken dialogue, tons of content. So Capcom worked with Factor 5 to um, port Resident Evil 2 to the Nintendo 64 because the file sizes were so large. Everyone thought it was impossible, but they did it. There's your graphics, there's your gameplay, and it is a complete port. So the box is in, is in good enough condition, it's really difficult to find Resident Evil 2 in good condition. Cartridge is in beautiful shape, look at that, look at that, kiss it, kiss it. And then we have the manual obviously, see it has some crunch damage down here, but still in awesome condition, and then it has the additional N64 paperwork as well. I love when it comes with that stuff, but the box is in really good shape. Now, I actually personally remember Resident Evil 1 on the PlayStation 1. I remember seeing that game in that first scene where you see a zombie for the first time and it changes to a full motion video scene. I remember seeing that when I was a little kid and it, it actually was terrifying. I mean, to be honest, that scene, if you know what I'm talking about, is still kind of terrifying uh, nowadays, but that really was like a game changer for video games. And it's one of the defining titles for the PlayStation 1 that helped Sony sell so many consoles. The original Resident Evil was groundbreaking for the PlayStation 1. So Resident Evil 2 came out and they're in the city in this one. Now while I didn't play it on the N64 because uh, this game, we already had it on the PlayStation 1. And we had we had played enough of the PlayStation 1 version of the original Resident Evil that Resident Evil 2 wasn't as exciting. You kind of got your fill, but this is a phenomenal game. Really difficult to get complete in box for the Nintendo 64, especially at a fair price. So since I did a bundle price, I actually paid uh, I was almost going to say the price. I paid the same price for all three of these games in this bundle, and uh, that price was definitely below the average price. I would say well below average price for all three of these games, and I did pay the same price. Same seller, and the next game that we have from this same seller in that bundle, 
Mario Kart 64. This is the million seller version. Now, if you saw my previous episode, I showed Mario Kart 64, but there was actually a big rip in the back. Big rip, depending on who you talk to. I'm a collector and a cuckoo bird, cuckoo. So this one I had to actually rebuy because I returned the other one, and this box has no tears. It's in much, much nicer condition. Now, while there is a part of me that wishes it was the original release and not the million seller, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So we'll go ahead and pop it open. Mario Kart 64, I already talked about it in my last episode. Look at that. Get all my details. Blue shell, banana peels, triple banana, red shell, red shell lifestyle. Has a player's guide in there. Now the manual on this one is actually pretty beat up. That's how good this game was, that you would actually pull out the manual and use it. So manuals uh, is rough for this one, so could be worse, but it does have that controls insert. Know all the details, pro player, live that pro lifestyle. And then it has two of these, which between you and me means I could put one of these in another rare game, get the complete inbox experience. And then there's the cartridge, it does have the tray and the plastic bag. There's the cartridge, really good shape. It does have a sticker on the side because when you line them all up, it's actually pretty clever. There's no end labels on N64 games. If you're hardcore, you know how annoying that is, but uh, here we have Mario Kart Million Seller. Really good shape for how much this must have been played. Contacts are all clean. Contact lenses. And then the third game in that bundle is Super Mario 64. Now again, I showed this on a previous episode, but this person said if you want to make a bundle deal, you gotta buy all three, and the price was right. I'm not talking about the game show, I'm talking about the price for these games. Player's Choice Million Seller. Now this is interesting that it has nothing here. I wonder if the other Player's Choice Million Seller had that same thing. I don't think I've ever seen it where a box doesn't have all those things there. Look at that, like the controls, and it uses a memory card, and how many players. So uh, I'll probably have to double check on uh, if that's real, that almost looks so, kind of uh, funky to me. But we open it up. They do make reproduction boxes. Now, I don't get reproduction boxes. I'm not into those. I don't collect them. I don't want them. But uh, that is curious that that one doesn't have them there. I'll have to check on my other one to see if that really is the way they were made. There's your Super Mario 64. Got your original tray. Got some sticker residue in the back. Now, I can clean up these parts around the cart. But it looks good. The label looks just shiny enough to make me question its authenticity. But then we have the inserts. All the inserts. Got your consumer information, your instruction manual, in very good shape for being a launch game. Your player's guide. And another one. We're rich. We're rich with paperwork. So Super Mario 64, no question. This game is phenomenal. Probably one of the best video games ever made. Yeah, I said it. I'll say it again, probably one of the best video games ever made. So let me know your memories of Super Mario 64. And with that said, let's move on to see other N64 game goodness. Now we'll open up another one. Now this one actually was two separate packages. What game is it? Show us the magic lamp. Pilot Wing 64. This was the other Nintendo 64 launch game. And uh, the other one besides Pilot Wing 64, I know you know the answer. Super Mario 64, you're so smart. You get a gold star. Now the reason why I had to purchase these separately was because for some reason, most people are asking a really high price for Pilot Wing 64 complete in box, which means the box and the manual and the cartridge. But it's not worth a lot. It shouldn't cost a lot. So it was actually way, way cheaper for me to get this with the box and the manual by themselves and then purchase the cartridge separately. It was, it was ridiculously cheaper to do that. So I'll go ahead and show you the, the condition of the box. This was a launch game, so again, for it to be in good condition at all is really surprising. We do have some kind of streaks on here. It looks like someone took a paper clip, dragged it along it with excitement or hatred. Now, I like Pilot Wing 64. The box is actually looking really good. Tiny bit of crease up there on the side and then on the back. Back looks beautiful. And again, this was a launch game, so this is a very old box and cartridge and manual. But if you haven't played it before, Pilot Wings 64 is the sequel to the Super Nintendo launch game, Pilot Wings. And uh, I think back in the day when we played this game, here's the cartridge, this game was uh, 
it was difficult. It was actually uh, almost frustrating. Do have the tray insert. So I didn't appreciate this game until I actually got older, but back in the day, this game was almost uh, a little bit annoying because of how precise and demanding the gameplay was. They really wanted you to be specific, whether you're skydiving or you're using your gyrocopter, that bicycle with the, with the helicopter propeller on it, or your, your air glider. Manual's good, except it has this little crunch up here along the top. Um, but this game, it, it's tricky. There's a lot of gameplay if you want to master the game, go for, for golds and, instead of silvers and bronze. But I didn't like this game that much when I was a kid because it was, it was tricky. But nowadays, uh, I appreciate it. The graphics are fun. The characters are kooky, especially this guy. He's the star. Um, we do have some writing on this cartridge here. And if you haven't seen it, check out my video, how to clean your retro games. Got the link down below. So check out that other video. I'll show you how to clean these. I actually cleaned some games in the actual video. So there's proof that's how you do it. But um, I did have to buy these separately because it was just much easier that way. And I got, uh, overall, if you add up the cost that I spent on the cartridge and then the box and the manual, I paid a ridiculously low price. And that's what I'm going for. Cheap and mint. That's the deal, Gadget God, live that lifestyle. Go ahead and do the next one here. No, I won't show you my address. No secrets, no kiss and tell. This is another bundle, bundle deal that I did with the seller. Here we have the Banjo-Kazooie manual, and then we have two separate game cartridges. I'm telling you, bundle deals are the way to go. If you can bundle something with the seller, it will really save you a lot of money than if you're trying to buy the pieces individually. Also, I would definitely recommend, don't try to buy like just the box and then separately buy just the manual, and then separately after that buy just the cartridge. That's how you're gonna spend the most money. The best way to do it is to get a bundle deal, lots of games in one, or uh, worst case scenario, buy one that has multiple things and piece it together like a puzzle later. So we do have Banjo-Kazooie probably, uh, I would say top five N64 games, no question. My brothers and sisters and I, we all played this game and we played it too much. Can you play a game that's that good too much? I remember the Banjo-Kazooie, there's that save file where Banjo's playing the Game Boy. That was like the save file everybody wanted, but this game truly is a gem. This is rare, maybe at their peak. I mean, the sound, the, the, the soundtrack, the characters, the gameplay, the innovation, this game, is almost as good as Super Mario 64, and that's actually saying a lot because that game was incredible. If we look at the box condition, we do have uh, a little bit of wear there. We have this tear over here, but I'm telling you, you put this in a box protector, you're barely gonna even notice that tear. But this is in really good shape. One thing that was really tough on uh, when I was looking for this game was getting this box, not only for a fair price, which again, I got this bundle for, for below the average value, but just finding Banjo-Kazooie and the box in good condition was really, really difficult. Um, everyone loved this game so much that they literally like took the box to bed with them. The boxes are all destroyed. So I'm actually really happy to have Banjo-Kazooie and the box and manual all in really good shape. Now, again, here is the manual for it. It was enjoyed, but I'd say it's in very good condition. It's not like new condition, but I'd say it's very good. And then we have the Banjo-Kazooie cartridge. Cartridge. So good, hug it, hug your screen. Stop kissing it, stop kissing it. So happy to have Banjo-Kazooie. That was one of my number one wants, not number one, but one of them for when I was building the collection. And then we have another Castlevania. I did get um, a Castlevania in a previous video, but this one, they were willing to throw this in for uh, for such a low price that I was like, you know what, save, save yourself the cost on shipping, I'll take the Castlevania box too. So this is really beat up, we can see along here, a lot of creasing, down here in the bottom, a lot of creasing, but since I got it for such a low price in the bundle deal, I could um, actually, since I do have Castlevania already, I can piece it together from my other pieces, I can keep, for example, the best condition cartridge, and then put it together to make the ultimate best condition Castlevania set, and then I can just sell whatever I have remaining. I can sell my duplicates. So the condition of this manual is definitely rough. Not super rough, obviously. All the pages are there, binding is strong, but it's, it's not in the best condition. So since I got this for so cheap with the bundle deal, I can sell my duplicate Castlevania, as I said. But Banjo-Tooie, uh, sorry, Banjo-Kazooie, I got banjos on my mind. But is definitely my top five N64 games. This is one of the reasons why I love the N64 so much. So I am 
incredibly happy to have this, especially in such good condition. And with the box of manual. Let's move on to the next N64 game. Last N64 game that we have for the day. What is it? Christmas is coming early. You knew it. You knew it. You had no idea. Don't lie to me. F-Zero X. Now this is Nintendo's take on a racing game. Mario Kart doesn't count as a racing game. That's more, that's like a party game and a racing game. But this was Nintendo's take on the racing genre, F-Zero X. Extremely fast. This game is super fast. When you're playing it, your mind might just race out of your skull. It's so fast. But the, the box condition is really exceptional on this one. And I got it for well below the retail price. That's the key, that's what I'm going for. Look at this box. Museums are gonna be asking me to put it in there. Super crisp, bright box art, really pops off. Go ahead and we'll open it up, take a look at the, the cartridge and the manual as well. Now, uh, we didn't have F-Zero X when we were kids, so let me know what your childhood memories are down below. We didn't have a Super Nintendo when we were younger, didn't get it till we were older, so I hadn't even heard of F-Zero. It wasn't a brand to me until uh, later in my life. We have the F-Zero X manual, flawless victory. Mortal Kombat reference, flawless condition right there. And then open it up, the operation card. Oh, so detailed, so colorful, so essential to the complete box set for F-Zero X. And then the original tray insert, you know it's an original insert because it has the NUS down there. And then the F-Zero X cartridge. Prettier than pretty, so pretty I'd take it to prom. Clean contacts, all that good stuff. Beautiful, super happy to have F-Zero X in the collection, finally. So that's the wrap up for today's episode of Complete Nintendo 64 Collection. We all get to go together on the ridiculous, impossible, and crazy, insane, fun, luxurious, drooling, whispering secrets, backdoor deals of the Complete Nintendo 64 Collection. All 296 games complete with the box and the manual, and in some cases, extra paperwork like operations cards for Mario Kart. If you guys have any questions or comments, de definitely put them down below. Let me know what your favorite N64 game is. Maybe your top three. What are your favorite top three? Let's go crazy, triple crazy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You've been very supportive. If you do have any donations, put a message down below. I'll make sure to get back to you. If you are donating something, no matter what it is, I'm happy to pay the shipping cost. It'll be free for you to donate. Isn't that what donations are? Feel good about it. I feel good about it. Everybody wins. And if you didn't know already, I'm the Gadget Guy. I do the research, so you don't have to. Thanks for watching, everybody. And have a Kazooie rest of your day.